Sorry. We're not open for business. I'm not a customer. Who are you? Who's asking? My name's Rudolfo. Hey, am I glad to see you. Yeah. I'm the guy you talked to on the phone, Angel. Angel. Yeah. yeah. You alone? I hope so. Look, is, is Duke around? No, but I can try to reach him. Yeah, okay. Listen, he was here last night waiting for your call. What happened? Yeah, don't ask. Yeah. Hello. Duke, I got somebody here who wants to talk to you. Duke, it's Rodolfo. Oh, thank God. I was beginning to wonder what happened to you. Are you at the club? Yeah. Look, I wanted to call you back last night, but somebody was following me. By the time I shook him, it was too late to call. I, I didn't want to disturb your family. Thank you. I appreciate your concern, but you could call any time. Do you have information for me? I do, but it's, it's too important to tell you on the phone. Look, can we, can we meet somewhere? Yeah. You stay right where you are. I'll be there. Meanwhile, you tell Angel to take good care of you. Yeah, he's doing that already. The hurry, the sooner you know, the better. Right. Here you are. I'm sure you can use it. Well, you're right about that. Listen, if you're hungry, I can send out for food. No, no, no. This is fine, Angel. Thanks. Okay. It's a nice place. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's not New York. Yeah. I think I prefer it. This is good coffee, Angel. Thanks. You know, too much of it will kill us. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Watch it, buddy. What are you doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry, Joey. My, my friend's not quite awake. It's I okay. should worry about him. I've been up since four. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. What do you want this stuff? Okay. In the storeroom. I'll show you. I'll show you. Come on, sit down. Relax. Come on, get this stuff. I'll show you. I'll be right back. This way. Here we go. I'm sorry I'm late. You must be exhausted late. Hey, what's the matter? What's the matter? Here we go. Angel! Duke! Uh, uh, Duke. Take it easy. Angel! Duke! Angel! Duke! Vic! Vic! Sell! Do. Uh, her. Hey, take it easy, take it easy. Angel! I'm gonna get help, I'm gonna get help. Yeah, I need, I need an ambulance. Yeah, Duke's club. Hey, I, I don't know, I, maybe a heart attack. Contact Commissioner Scorpio, yeah. What? Could be murder. Boss, what happened? I, I don't know, he slipped off the bar, I don't know. He's gone, Commissioner. Cause of death? Off the record, I'd say a heart attack. What do you think? They killed him. I'm sorry, boss. Yeah. All right, Sam, what have you got? So Not much, sir. Rudolfo came in this morning and asked Duke to meet him here. Did he feel that he was in some kind of danger? Yeah, he knew he was being followed. Okay. Prior to uh, Duke getting here, what then? Angel made coffee. Oh. Yeah. Who else was here? Just one man, a, a delivery man from the Atlas Linen Company. Angel here took him down to the storeroom, and that's when Duke arrived and found this guy slumped over at the bar. Conscious? According to Duke, he did try to say something. You and I should have a little chat. They are going to get... Well, they did this. That's a general idea. Before the guy he died... He was a good friend of mine. He's a friend of ours, too. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Listen, if I'm going to nail whoever did this, I need a little cooperation. What did he say? Okay. Hey, he was barely conscious. He mumbled a couple of things. He's sick. Um, well, what else? Yeah. Uh, Sal. Burr. I, I could hardly uh, think about this. Was there anyone else there? No, I just, I walked in. He was on his own. 
I'm sure of that. Yeah, there was no one else there. He didn't appear to. Sam, get the coroner for me, will you? Yes, sir. Now, you're absolutely certain there was no one else here. And there was no one else here, and I didn't hear him say anything else. That was it. I would tell you otherwise. Sure, Hudson. Commissioner, I have the corner on the line. There's Scorpio here. Listen, I need your clearance. I'm sending a recently deceased gentleman over to General Hospital. Yeah, I want an autopsy done as soon as possible. Because I want a doctor over there to do it. His name is Benson, uh, Walt Benson. Wait, I haven't finished yet. I also want Dr. Monica Quartermain to consult. This is a possible heart attack. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. You'll take your orders from me this time, all right? That is, of course, if you don't want to hang on to your job. Busy yeah. morning, I see. Yeah. Duke's man, Rodolfo. Oh, damn, you were afraid of that. Someone doesn't want him to go to that summit. How about Olivia? Metropole has some very interesting things to say about her, including a list of phone calls she made when she was in Paris. While her brother Julian was being snuffed out. Yeah, at the time of her brother's sudden death, she was having a transatlantic chit-chat with the very people who killed him. Cardamol. Yeah. Now, they're almost as nasty and as powerful as the Jerome's. You know what this tells us? What? Michelle was right all along. She has the answers we need. Duke, when and where the summit meeting was to take place. Oh, come on, I'll be wasting some time here. It's called reviewing the facts, and if you don't have the patience for this, then kindly go home. Well, why don't we concentrate more on what the man did say instead of wasting time on what he didn't say? He does have a point, Robert. All right. What was the first thing he said? I think I just have to tell you the first way he said big. Oh, big to that straightforward enough. What else? The second he, I don't know, sounded like cell. Well, that could mean that the killer was someone in prison. Someone Victor met in prison? All right, what else? I think the third, it makes no sense. Bar. Could be B-U-R-R, -R, those things that stick to your clothes. Something you do when you're cold? The, someone's name? Yeah. First syllable? Don't look at me like that. If I knew, I would tell you. Would you? Okay, what do you think? Do you think I'm holding something back? You better not be. All right, just take it easy, will you? Rodolfo was a good friend, a very good, loyal friend. Loyal to you or loyal to Victor? How can you be sure? I can be sure he was loyal to me. Well, you better be. Because this... this so-called heart attack of his has just escalated the problems around Anna and Robin. And if you're holding something back on me, Levy, so help me, I'll make you regret Why would I have told you everything I know? You know, this man could have died from natural causes. <laughs> what? Natural? Natural like that bloody snake that finished up in Anna's bedroom, like the dead lovebird, like the lullabies over the phone, like the doll with a broken neck. Natural? What are you talking about lullabies? Doll with a broken... What's this? What the hell are you talking about now? It's blatantly apparent to me that Olivia Jerome is behind all this. She organized the hit on Rodolfo, and I'm gonna get her for it. And along the way, I'm gonna nail her for murdering her brother as well. You and Julian? Yeah. She killed him. How, how could that be possible? Olivia wasn't even here when Julian was killed. Olivia didn't kill her brother herself. What we've discovered, she had the Carter people do it for her. What's this she talking about? Dolls. Anna's never told you any of this, has she? And lullabies. How did, what are you talking about? Over the phone, untraceable. Olivia. Mm-hmm. All Olivia, yeah. I'm gonna kill her. You're not going anywhere. Duke. Well, somebody's got her. Not this way. Well, somebody's no, got to listen, get you touch her. You so much as get anywhere close to her, I'll throw you another slammer so fast it'll make your heart stop. What are you gonna You'll do? work on Victor. 
Find out about the summit. It's the way to get to her. Okay. I'll do that. On one condition. You do not take matters into your own hands. I'll name the condition. You find whatever evidence you need to put Levis and John away for what she's done, or else I will, and I don't care if I get killed in the process. Well, what can you tell me? I haven't had enough time to tell you anything. What he means is nothing definitive. We have to wait for the test results. I don't have time for that. Well, there are some things that we just can't rush. Um, were there any needle marks? There was one, yes, on his right arm, right about, about there. What else? Well, there's no signs of narcotics or poisons. I'm looking for bruises, uh, cuts, contusions, sign of a struggle. Nothing so far. It looks like a massive coronary. I, I can't buy that. You go back and you check that needle mark again. This time, do it thoroughly, will you? Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, you should be. We are very thorough around here. I apologize. The importance of this case is making me act this way. Look, I assume it's a big one. I assume right. Well, I figured that when Scott Baldwin called. What did he want? Well, he imposed the uh, press black on the case and uh, gave me instructions to send him a copy of the autopsy report as soon as I finished it. Are you should find? Yeah, there's one right in the other office there. Baldwin. Scorpio, where do you get your information? What can I tell you? I got big ears. <sighs> okay. Then listen up, Dumbo. You call Doc Benson and you put a gag order on. It's not even an official case yet, you idiot. I like to ride in the front seat. You can't be assigned the case until a formal complaint is made. Are you suggesting that you're going to file one? It's called office politics, and maybe you enjoy playing it, but I don't. And I won't let you jeopardize my investigation. Well, would you like to explain that and make it quick, because I'm a busy man. You're grabbing any case you can to enhance your slimy little position in that department. Watch those accusations there, Commissioner. I could say uh, that maybe you're covering up something. When and if you're assigned to this case, I'll extend to you the same courtesy and consideration I would extend to any member of the DA staff. Like I said, you're covering up something? Until then, you stay as far away from me and my investigation as possible. And as far as ordering blackouts is concerned, you didn't have to go to the trouble. I've had one in effect right from the moment this case broke. We have the results. What? Death was caused by an overdose of medication that's commonly used by heart patients. What type isn't important, but the point is, it was administered by injection. I was right. Listen, I wanted the... No, I want the fingerprints now. I wanted them hours ago. I don't... Just get them to me. You know, I've got to know there was something going on in the club at the time that Angel was down in that storeroom. Yeah, there are a few things I'd like to know, too. Did you read that report? I skimmed it. It says here that the only mark of violence on... Uh... Duffel's body was the needle mark. You trying to tell me he was killed by someone he knew? It's a possibility. Do you find any unknown fingerprints at the club on cups, spoons, saucers, bar glasses? Nothing. Not a thing. You know, I'm kicking myself for allowing Lewis to go to that international police chief's meeting in Berlin. Yeah, we could have used his help. I put in a call to him. I said, get back here, SAP. Mm. In the meantime, I think I've got it pretty well covered. We can hope for now is that Lavery finds out something about this summer. Yeah, you'll be sure that Olivia's going to be guarding her flanks. Aha. Uh but -huh. once she lets her guard down, I'm going to have her in here for an interrogation of like it, which this department's never seen before. Mm. Uh, what time is it? Uh, a little past noon. Should have heard from Cheryl right now. Hello? Yeah. Uh, you there? It's a machine. 
Hey, sweetheart, listen, I haven't, uh, haven't heard from you for a while. Give me a call, all right? I miss you. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have thought she would have been back from New York by now. Oh, you know how it is. Yeah, most times I do. This time, I'm not too sure. Oh, my God.